giving this pe- person space to see things, giving this person room to be able to acknowledge what they're meant to acknowledge. That's the message here. That's a powerful message here. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well and happy new year to you too. This is your general love reading for uh, January. Going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. Of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys. It is timestamp. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle. Okay. So as I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there could be just messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. Apologies if the, the table shape guys i've got to feel relaxed when i shuffle and of course just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so you know let's just take me then and now with that so virgo let's start with reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side that's something you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So it's you're you're in a challenging time, um, Virgo, when it comes to represented by the nine there. There's some challenges that you both have be I feel like it's more so to do with this person, if I'm honest with you. I feel like this person is going through certain challenges, maybe to do with their finances, and it's just kind of affecting this relationship. Um, so it's testing it, so to speak. It's um, in a, even though you're both kind of trying to hold on to this, is still trying to, you know, hold this connection or re- this relationship together, is being tested most definitely. You're showing up as being very mature. Um, there's a, a level of emotional understanding, emotional maturity that you have when it comes to dealing with this person. I feel like there's understanding around their situation or what they're encountering or what they need to deal with in some way shape or form there's a level of patience that you have when it comes to them as well based on that understanding or being privy to you know having that insight into that in some way shape or form it's interesting though um virgo because it seems like in the past you needed to do something make some form of move or do something which caused you and this doesn't have to be overtly to this person it could be just within yourself but do something that caused you to keep the upper hand or have the upper hand i don't feel like it was i feel like that was the best place for you to be if that makes sense it seems like you had to maintain a certain position with this person it took a a level of strength in order to do that because i feel like it kind of went against your nature or went against what you ultimately wanted to do, but knew that you had to simply because it was beneficial to this person or this relationship, if that makes sense. Let's see if we can get some more clarity on. Hopefully I'm making sense to you guys, but it's that type of thing. It's this, I don't want to, I don't want to make this play or I don't want to do this, but I know if I don't, then it's going to cause this, that type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a nice. Just really confirming that. Uh, for them, they showed up as being hmm, irritable, uh, a bit snappy. Uh, a bit, it might be an understatement, but snappy, short tempered. Uh, even I'll go so far as to even say that they could be possibly just being a bit irritable with people around them. You being one of them. I guess where that, they, that's, I guess, if I can talk, I guess where, I guess that's where that level of understanding and patience is needed. Uh, because this person is very short-tempered. Seems like they kind of saw you as someone who had their stuff together. So they kind of see you in a certain light of you having built something or established something or just have this certain level of 
achieved something. Uh, it could be career, could be work, could be something, could be just within yourself as well. And that pulled them towards you. That was a, a huge attraction, a huge draw that they have towards you, uh, Virgo. But for right now, it seems like and it's meeting and meet before we move on. Let's get a bit of, see if we can see what this pentacles has to say. That's just, um, yeah, it's more to do with, yeah, I feel like this person had to pull on a certain level of confidence as well to be able to step to you, to be able to approach you, um, you know, especially to offer love as well. It's like the audacity when I haven't got myself together. It's that type of thing I feel. And that's where this whole thing is coming from. So like this person is not, I do apologize if you can hear that. I feel like this person is not in a place that they would like to be. And you kind of, unbeknownst to you, maybe highlight that, highlights that for them. There's a, you feel like you've kind of put a stop to progressing this. There's the handyman there. So it's this, let's see, what is that? Hesitant with your actions or kind of putting a stop. There's a hangman in terms of your thinking. That's in your current thinking position. Ah, okay. It's this, I feel like you, you reached your, um, I don't want to say your limit, but you're recognizing that you're reaching a point where maybe you might need to let go of this person. Um, or at least let go of some form of element of this. For instance, for example, when I say element, for example, sometimes we need to let a child, this is just an analogy, guys, let a child walk uh, and, and fall over and, 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 and you know, guide them in getting them back up. But ultimately, they got to make those mistakes. I feel like it's more to do with that, kind of pulling back on you advising this person or uh, being a cushion for them to fall. It's like you've got to, you know, evolve and I can't be a crutch to you. I feel like for some of you, it's that, it's that type of thing, but it's something you're definitely thinking about letting go of or putting to rest or moving forward. Um, yeah, letting go more so, more so letting go, moving away from. I feel like you're wanting to share this with anyone. You're not wanting to share this with, um, I just want to pull on that note. You're not wanting to share this with maybe friends or so like you're wanting to kind of keep this to yourself now. Um, and that within itself is going to cause you to feel, yeah, do you see that? It's that fine. Yeah. Yeah, you might have a feeling of losing certain aspects of this, i.e. control, but we're not going to say that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't feel like you're sharing much or you're wanting to share much of your experiences or what you're dealing with when it comes to this person, Virgo. And that 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 is going to keep you kind of trapped. You're fully aware of how trapped that's going to keep you. Not being able to express. If you don't want to feel, you don't feel comfortable sharing it with people in your close circles, for example, you can journal, get it out and, you know, by journaling and you don't want to bottle that up and end up thinking all sorts and, you know, being overtaken by your thoughts, et cetera, et cetera. Where this person, this person is coming to some form of epiphany, this realization, you know, epiphany and this realization. Let's dig a deeper into what that is. Because what it's doing is it's taking, it's like, it's like, um, it's like having these three cups here uh fallen over usually in another deck they kind of spilt over and this cup is behind and this person is usually focused on on this uh but with this deck it's like the focus is very much on the cup that's behind the potential not things that have happened things that are not working the potential the silver lining that's what's going on here with this person but i wanted to clarify that page because whatever's going on with that page that epiphany that realization is causing them to turn their head away from these cups towards that potential feeling of ah optimistic more so than being pessimistic 
yeah, I feel like this person is, ah, well, you know, it's, this is what happens when you kind of sometimes give people the space to learn and to grow and to see things. If you're constantly, not to say you are, though, I'm just giving an example, check in on that. If you're constantly over this, you know, I do, it happens with me and my son. If I'm constantly saying, you know, do this, do this, do this, do this, the moment that that's all they tend to focus, the moment you give them a bit of space, digest, process, bingo. And that's what seems to be happening here is that there is this um, a realization, this epiphany. One second, guys, I've got to shut that wind back, guys. Yeah, the thing with this person is, is they having some form of epiphany, some realization, this wake up call, and with that comes judgment. With that comes judgment. And I believe judgment against their self in terms of just acknowledging their behavior, their actions, how they have been, you know, behaving, behaving ultimately. And with that comes a sense of freedom because now they feel choosing to turn their head or with that comes this turning of the head and acknowledging the potential because now they want to change change more to do i feel like for a lot of you got their finances which obviously would have a knock-on effect in terms of this relationship but change nevertheless change nevertheless you know in order for them to oh this is i'll read it in order for them to yeah Gain the world, have more, reach a different perspective, you know, evolve. Usually at this point in the reading, we move into part two, get a fuller picture and see where this moves to. But I will be implementing that next week, guys. Look out for that. But as it stands, giving this person the space to see things on their own, be patient, have understanding and let it unfold the way it's meant to unfold. And that's the kind of the lesson I feel like is being displayed at this stage. Like I said, you know, you should move into part two, get a fuller picture, see where this moves to. Hopefully this is giving you some more clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles <clears throat> and love readings. If that's something interesting, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week. Ooh.